the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Peter Chrysologus an outstanding preacher of your incarnate word, Grant through his intercession that we may constantly ponder in our hearts the mysteries of your salvation and faithfully express them in what we do through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, to me, the very least of all the holy ones, this grace was given, to preach to the Gentiles the inscrutable riches of Christ, and to bring to light for all what is the plan of the mystery hidden from ages past in God who created all things, so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church, to the principalities and authorities in the heavens. This was according to the eternal purpose that he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have hope boldness of speech and confidence of access through faith in him. The word of the Lord. Our response to our song. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way by keeping to your words? Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, Lord teach, teach me your statutes. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the vine. You are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, and I in him, will bear much fruit. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of the store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart the mouth speaks. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Peter Chrysologus. St. Peter was born in 380. He became uh, a deacon and was later ordained a bishop in the city of Ravenna, Italy in 433 by Pope Sixtus III. He was known for his homilies proclaiming the church's traditional beliefs about the Mary's perpetual virginity, the penitential value of Lent, Christ's Eucharistic presence, and the primacy of St. Peter and his successors. St. Peter died in, in uh, the year 450. He was later declared a doctor of the church in 1729 by Pope Benedict the 13th. In preparing for this morning, uh, I went through the Liturgy of the Hours and found a quote from St. Peter, which I'll get back to in just a moment, but it reminded me of a verse of Scripture. In Hebrews 2, verses 6 through 8, St. Paul quotes something from Psalm, from the book of Psalms. It reads something like this. Instead, someone has testified somewhere. What is man that you are mindful of him? Or the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, subjecting all things under his feet. I read this verse of scripture often and wondered from time to time exactly what the point was. And I think St. Peter Chrysologus touches on it in one of his homilies. St. Peter said these words, Was not this entire visible universe made for your dwelling? It was for you that the light dispelled the overshadowing gloom. For your sake was the night regulated and the day measured. And for you were the heavens embellished with the varying brilliance of sun, the moon, and the stars. The earth was adorned with flowers, groves, and fruit, and the constant marvelous variety of lovely things was created in the air, the fields, and the seas for you, lest sad solitude destroy the joy of God's creation. And the Creator still works to devise things that can add to your glory. If God loved us enough, that he gave us all of creation, should we not give that love back to him? If God continues through creation to glorify man, should we not return that glory 10, 20, 100 fold to God? These are questions we must all answer today and every day. Through the intercession of St. Peter Chrysologus, May Almighty God bless you this day in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family of faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy, with the people entrusted to their charge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, I pray. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, I pray. And for Cameron and Warren Groves, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord our Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise and honor the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Thanks be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. I will the good of all the Son of the Church. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. I will the good of all the Son of the Church. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, all the offerings we set upon this sacred altar. On the feast day of blessed John Chrysologus, that bestowing on us your pardon, our obligations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Peter Chrysolophus, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. As without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son of the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the pot of all holiness, made holy, therefore, these gifts and friends, by sitting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. From our body of cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all that have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all who pray, 
and with the blessed the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co heirs with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Therein and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And we can do that our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And we do not forgive the enemies, but deliver us from every evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, to await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For we the power and the glory of your Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Lay not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. Amen. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in my room, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed by these sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed Peter, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord will be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us from hell. Be our protection against the wickedness of the saints of the devil. May God rebuke him when we come to pray. And then to you, our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, trust in hell, saved in all the enemies of spirits, who run into the new world, sitting in the room of souls. Amen. Amen. The divine praise and protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. Lord. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consolator. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, very most holy. Blessed be her holy and miraculous conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, the Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the Lord's Mission of the House. Blessed be God, the angels, and his saints.